Hi, my name is João Bell and I will present Exergonomics, which is a collaboration with Anna Feit, Tiara Firstner and Kai Kronbeck. Our work aims to facilitate the creation of ergonomic 3D interfaces through a toolkit that makes comfort metrics available to creators during the design and development of cross-reality applications. Creating comfortable cross-reality experiences is hard. This is one of the key barriers identified by Ashtari and others in their publication from CHI 2020. We argue this is due to two main reasons. First, even though the HCI community has explored issues such as comfort and fatigue, proposed metrics focus on evaluating existing mid-air interactions. Second, general guidelines are hard to apply in mixed reality applications because they are highly context dependent. To address this problem, we introduced the concept of ergonomic cost, a model to assign a cost of interaction to any point in the user's interaction space. The ergonomic cost is computed in three steps. First, discretization of the interaction space. Second, computation of arm poses. And third, computation of the ergonomic cost. The first step in our pipeline is the discretization of the interaction space. The interaction space consists of all the positions in 3D the user can reach with the hands. To make the problem computationally tractable, the continuous interaction space is transferred into a discrete voxel representation, as you can see on the left. We use a simple kinematic chain and heuristics to determine which voxels are not in reach of the user. In the second step of the pipeline, we use inverse kinematics to compute various possible poses the arm can take to reach each position in the interaction space. The kinematic chain is simplified further at this stage by fixing the wrist joint, allowing the pipeline to be more efficient. Finally, for each arm pose, we compute its ergonomic cost using established metrics. In our implementation of exergonomics, we currently support consumed endurance, ruler, and muscle activations from biomechanical simulations. It's possible to combine supported metrics into one using a weighted sum. These values are then stored into a database that supports geometric queries, making it possible to consider spatial constraints. In these pictures, taken from our visualization, blue voxels represent a low ergonomic cost, therefore comfortable positions, while red represents a high ergonomic cost and as a result, uncomfortable position. To make the ergonomic cost available to creators, we developed a toolkit that comprises of two main components. First, a visualization of the interaction space and correspondent ergonomic cost. As you can see on the left, creators can select specific zones of the interaction space and visualize the ergonomic cost according to different metrics. Second, an API that can be used to get the ergonomic cost in real time. The API can be integrated in popular platforms such as Unity. The toolkit allows creators to modify the granularity of the interaction space and make adjustments to the inverse kinematics algorithm. For example, it is possible to run the pipeline for different arm dimensions, model physiologic constraints, or even add new metrics to compute the ergonomic cost. It is also possible to specify spatial constraints in real time, allowing creators to model the environment's geometry to identify positions that minimize discomfort. To evaluate our toolkit, we demonstrate what it can do through two application scenarios. First, we show how the visualization can guide the placement of static UI elements. Then, we use the API to dynamically adapt a 3D user interface. In this example, a menu is dynamically placed in a position in the user's field of view that minimizes discomfort. Finally, we evaluate the utility of the toolkit through a walkthrough demonstration with experts that you can learn more about in our paper. To conclude, we propose the method to estimate the ergonomic cost of interaction at each reachable position in the user's interaction space that we make available through the Exergonomics Toolkit. Thank you for listening. All the source code for this work is available online.